In their July 2019 broadcast, the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses wanted us to focus on modesty. Modesty is in fact a good quality, encouraged by Jehovah and Jesus in the Bible. But after teaching others that they must be modest, the governing body then declared themselves to be above the scriptural rule of 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6, which says, Now, brothers, these things I apply to myself and Apollos for your good, that in our case you may learn the rule, do not go beyond the things that are written, in order that you may not be puffed up individually in favour of the one against the other. The representative of the governing body said that the things written, mentioned by Paul, includes everything that the governing body prints in their publications. So they have extended what the Apostle Paul limited himself to, the things written in the Bible, and included their own writings. They have therefore claimed that they themselves are not subject to the rule and have authority to go beyond the things written in the Holy Bible. Clearly, they do not apply the biblical instruction to be modest to themselves, but everyone else must be modest. They then went on to tell the millions of people watching that they have set up a museum in their headquarters all about what the governing body has done. After telling everyone else to be modest, they brag and put themselves on show, claiming to be the source of living water when in fact Jehovah God through his son Jesus Christ is the source of living water. They also put imagery in their broadcast with the message, sisters are overseeing the writing committee and are writing articles for their publications. If that is true, then they are violating 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 12, which says women are not permitted to teach men in the congregation. They also showed a number of sisters with very short hair, which breaks the rule set out by the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Rebelling against the direction in the Bible, or allowing others to do so, is not modest at all. In their fear of the world and the Jezebel woman, the governing body leads Jesus' sheep into apostasy. How dare those hypocrites tell others to be humble when they themselves have changed the words of the Holy Bible? Just look at Romans chapter 1 verse 26 where they have changed Jehovah's description of homosexuality from disgraceful to uncontrolled. They were warned by repeated letters over a period of around 10 years, but they refused to listen to counsel. Everyone else must submit to their counsel, but they do not need to listen to anyone, even the holy word of Jehovah God. Just like Rehoboam, they have refused to listen, and so the people of God will have to be split into different groups. What can Jehovah's true people who are stumbling over these things do? What should genuine Christians do? The command of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 17 and 18, tells us that we must separate. The scripture says, Get out from among them and separate yourselves, says Jehovah, and quit touching the unclean thing, and I will take you in, and I shall be a father to you, and you will be sons and daughters to me says Jehovah the Almighty. True Christians must separate from apostates. Let's join together to continue the pure worship of Jehovah and the sincere following of Jesus Christ. Join us at Empire of Jehovah.